Hi guys, so in today's video I am going to be doing a eye look using the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette. Um, so I talked about this in my monthly favourites which should already be up now. And um, this is what it looks like. <clears throat> so I'm going to be using the shades from this palette here. I'm going to be doing a smoky cat eye. And this is a look that I wore out um, the other night and I really really like it so I thought I'd show you guys it. So let's get into the video. So I've already applied my primer, this is the Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion and this is the Anti-Aging one. And I'm just going to set that using China White from the palette and a fluffy makeup brush. Next I'm taking the shade Courtney. There's this one here. And a Morphe M505. So, this is just a big fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going to pop that in the crease. Doesn't matter how high you go, you can take it as high as you like, just make sure you blend it out well. And then if you need a little help with blending, just take China White on the brush and blend at the top. kind of soften it as well. So now I am going to take the shade Vanity and a um, large pencil slash smudger brush. This is just one that came with an Urban Decay Naked palette. And I'm just going to draw a line into the crease. And next I'm going to take a small um, fluffy blending brush, which is this one. I have cleaned it, but it's stained, so please excuse that. And I'm just going to try and blend that. You want to blend it lower down if you can, and try not to blend it too high. You don't really want it to go much above the line that you've created, if you can help it. So this shade is a little bit more difficult to blend out than the rest of the shades, um, but if you just keep at it, it will blend out eventually. Okay, so at this point it will look like a hot mess, but it's okay, it will all come together in the end, I promise. I'm just going to take a slightly larger blending brush and just go back over the top with Courtney again. I'm really concentrating that over the top of Vanity and that will just help the colours blend together a bit easier. Go. Okay, so once you've got your crease shades in, you can go ahead and put tape on if you haven't already. Um, you can do the tape before you do your crease shades if you want to. I forgot to put tape on, so that's why I'm doing it now. Um, but it doesn't matter too much if you leave it until after you've done your crease because that will help it kind of blend seamlessly. Really you just want this for the grey and the black shades we're going to put on. So I'm just putting the tape there. I'm just using a washi tape and I have um, taken some of the stickiness off on the back of my hands as well. Um, you can just use scotch tape or cellar tape if you want but you really want to make sure that you take most of the stickiness off because you don't want that underneath your eyes. It will give you wrinkles. 
so just put it on your palm like so give it a rub and then peel it off and then if it's cell tape or scotch tape do it again I'm taking a body shop eyeshadow brush and this is just a kind of yeah kind of like medium sized packing brush I'm going to take the shade Courtney and I'm going to really get that up in there on the brush and I'm going to pack that in the center of the eyelid and take it a little bit onto the inner third as well just like that and then on the outer third you want to take vanity You want to kind of like try and angle it so that it's going in the same direction as your tape is. That will help it to kind of look a little bit more cat eye. So now I'm just taking that same small blending brush from before and I'm just going to blend those two colours together and into the crease. So next you just want to dip back into Courtney and put that down the centre again. And then you can blend that out very lightly. Just the slightest bit. So now for the fun part, this is the part where it could all go wrong. Um, Hopefully it won't. So I'm going to take Black Rainbow, which is this shade just here, and I'm just using this um, brush. It came with my Fortune Favors the Brave palette um, by Makeup Revolution, um, but you can just use any kind of similar brush. I don't even know how to describe this brush. It's just fluffy and round um, and small. Just going to dip into Black Rainbow. Tap off the excess, always do that. And then I'm going to pack that on the outer corner. Now I'm trying to stay below my um, crease line if I can, but I'm also wringing out the black eyeshadow. And you just want to kind of mesh it with the grey eyeshadow. and make sure where the tape hits that the line is really pigmented and then it fades out a little bit more up top so once you're happy with that you want to take a small um, smudger brush this is the morphe e36 um, i really recommend this one it's really good and i'm going to go into vanity again which is the gray shade and i'm just gonna blend the black and the gray into the crease together you don't want to go in too far you just want to kind of take in the darkness a little bit further just so that it blends better And again, try not to go any higher than you've already gone, because um, at this stage it's difficult to fix it. I'm going to reapply Courtney as well. It's okay. okay. And then you just want to take a brush and very lightly blend all of that together again. So if you haven't caught on by now, this look is a lot of applying and blending and applying and a blending. Um, and the blending is what really makes it, to be honest. You just want to keep, 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 keep blending. And then eventually it will look aced. So I'm going to peel off the tape now to reveal a cat eye. If 
if you want to risk it for a biscuit, you could try and apply a liquid liner as well. I don't feel like it needs it because it's already really, really black on the outside. The last thing to do is to take a small packing brush and the shade China White and just pack that on in the inner corners. Again, the important thing is to try and pack the eyeshadows on all going at the same angle as well because that will help with the cat eye effect. And I'm just going to use the same brush to blend that out. No, it's not a blending brush. Okay, so now it's just time for the final touch, which is mascara and lashes if you're wearing them. So I'm just going to apply my mascara quickly and then I will be right back. Okay, so here is the finished eye look. Um, this look is great for uh, going out, um, clubbing and things like that. Um, I wouldn't really wear this every day. This isn't like a casual eye look, um, but I really like the way this makes my eyes look kind of like bigger and further apart. Um, it does look really cool with some Ardell um, Demi Wispy Lashes, but I decided not to wear eyelashes today, so I've just got some mascara on. I'm actually trying out a new mascara. This is the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Flash Expen Extensions Effect Mascara. Um, so although it's called Thick and Fast, it's not really a thickening mascara, it's more of a lengthening mascara. I'm liking it so far um, for the length that it's giving, um, but I still don't feel like it's as good as the Benefit. Roller lash because it doesn't curl your lashes at the same time. You'd have to do that with an eyelash curler. Um, but yes, this is the final look. Um, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I am planning on doing more Jeffree Star um, eyeshadow palette tutorials in the, um, soon. Um, so let me know down below if there's any particular shades that you want me to do. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.